Hey percussionist, I'm making this video for number 505, Jolly Old St. Nicholas, for the snare drum part. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our metronome to 60. Now on, on your, um, you can either do this on an app or you can do it on your Chromebooks, just Google the word metronome, M-E-T-R-O-N-O-M-E, -O -O -E. and this is the thing we use in class, alright, so it's familiar. Um, I set it to 60. You just do this plus and minus buttons here. 60 is gonna feel, gonna feel pretty slow, but that's okay. I'm, I'm slowing it down to give you time to think. Remember, slowing it down while you're practicing is the best thing you can do. Um, I'm gonna hit play on the metronome right there, right? Now, I don't know if you'll hear the metronome on the video, but that doesn't matter to me. While you're while you're practicing, you can put earbuds in into your Chromebook or your phone or whatever, and then you can hear the metronome for you, okay? Um, so you may not hear this in the video, but you just, you do you, okay? Uh, snare drum, here we go. Now, if you notice, it's the same, it's the same two measures over and over again. Okay, because that's kind of how the song is too. The song has the same rhythms over and over again. We got our accents and we got buzzes. First of all, make sure your grip is correct, right? Okay. Refer to the photos on page one of your method book if you don't remember. Sticks need to be in a V shape. Your hand. Remember, we pinch with these three fingers and then give give the stick a hug with your hand. Imagine there's a dot. Remember when I drew the dot on my wrist? The wrist needs to be facing down. Okay? If you do all those things, the stick will naturally make a V-shape. Okay? Like this. Uh, this is too low for me. Um, so, unless it's an accented note, low stick height. Okay? Low stick height. So, First measure, we got accents. Let's just do the first measure for a second. I'm turn on my metronome. So it's one and two and three and four with accents on one and three. So one, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four. Let's try that again. I'll turn off my metronome because you can't hear it anyway. Uh, First measure, one and two and ready, go. One and two and three and four. Notice how I'm only using my wrist and my fingers, I'm not swinging my arms. We don't do this with our arms, we don't do it with our shoulders. Look at me, look. One and two and three and four. Gentle, you don't need to hit the drum. Do not hit the drum. Just let the stick fall on the drum. Measure two, we got some buzzes. One and two and three. Right? Buzz, 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 buzz. Hit. Try not to do the chugga chugga thing, right? Don't don't do this with your arms. It's straight up and down. One and two and three. One and two and three. Rest. One and two and three. Okay. So the whole thing, well, the first two measures, anyway, would be one, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four. One and two and three. And do that again. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four. Now I'm gonna do the whole thing, which is just that four times, right? It's the same thing over and over again. Okay, watch out for that quarter rest. Don't blow past it, you gotta keep time. Uh, here we go, ready? One and two, the whole thing, and. One and two and three and four. One and two and three, four.
rest. Now, I'm saying all the counts out loud. You don't necessarily need to do that. What will help, I honestly believe this, is if you say dut on every note and you say rest with the rest. You're not gonna need to do that forever. Okay, but right now while you're learning, it really helps because that engages the language center of your brain and it just, I don't know why it works, it just does. It makes it easier. Um, so I'm gonna do it the way I want you to do it. Especially saying the rest out loud is gonna really help you feel the beat. Um, so like this, so say dut on every note and say rest on the rest. I, I know it sounds a little silly, but guys, this, this, this really works. I've had high school kids when I was teaching high school who couldn't play a rhythm. I made them say it on dut and all of a sudden they could do it. It just works, so do it. Um, so one and two, we're saying dut and dut, dut, dut. You can say buzz on the buzzes, maybe, if that's easier for you. That kind of makes more sense to me. Dut is kind of hit, and so saying buzz might be better for the buzzes. I don't know. Whatever whatever feels natural to you. So let's try the whole thing. I'm going to say buzz on the buzzes, because that, that makes more sense to me. Feels right. The whole thing. Ready? One and two and ready, go. That's it. Watch your grip, okay? If you come in here and you're playing like this, I'm not gonna pass you. This is not how we play snare drum. I don't know what this is. This is just weird, okay? Also watch your stick height. If you come in here and I, uh -huh. no, no, no. That's not how we play snare drum, okay? I'm not passing you. Even if, even if your rhythms are right, I'm not passing you like that. Um, okay. Hope that was helpful. Uh, go practice.